What's going on Fortnite fans? My name is Jackus the Creator, and in this video we'll be finding out what happened when I dropped Brutal Bastion 100 times. I've been grinding Fortnite lately, and after dropping faulty splits 100 times, I wanted to try a less populated location, and one POI kept coming to mind, Brutal Bastion. This video was again inspired by Luke the Notable, shout out to him for this video format. Now before this intro gets too brutal, let's get into game number one. The key thing to note about Brutal Bastion is how open it is. Rather than a bunch of smaller buildings like Faulty, this is one massive building with sprawling outside areas, along with confined smaller spaces. There are a few parts you can drop into, but in game number one, I decided to drop into the biggest room. The loot in here isn't very good, it's not worth the extra attention. If you come to these open tiles, you can sneak into hidden rooms with buried chests. These are by far the best way to get quick loot in this PUI. They may also contain freezers, slurp barrels, and ammo chests. Generally, you won't often find other players here in solos. This fellow was my only contestant in this match. I recommend hiring the NPC you can find here. It costs only 100 gold, and they act as basically another squad member. Always claim the POI. Claiming the location highlighted the chests and made locating more buried chests a breeze. Most of the time you'll rotate out to the west or south, so if you come west be sure to come over to this little forest for some good wood. All of that preparation allowed me to make it easily into the final circle. Hammering this guy made it a 1 vs 1, but with no mats and little ammo, I didn't get the win. Game 2 was played in squads. I'll explain the mechanics of squads bastion in a minute, but first, we won! Alright now, brutal bastion in squads is something else. In my experience, only 1-2 to two squads come here on average per game, so if you quickly wipe out the other squad, it's a free ticket out of the early game most of the time, key term there being early game. If you travel to the very south of the main building, you can find a tunnel to this hidden frozen waterfall, which can spawn up to two chests. Middle Jane is not my lover. Skipping straight to the end game, this one was wild. Citadel end games are always hard, but this one was something else. We weren't sure how we got the win, so check in replay. It seemed like the last two enemies got stuck at the bottom of the waterfall here. <laughs> Rest in peace. Not only did we win, I also escaped the loop. My god DMR got swiped in game 5. I also borrowed the Peely's Plunder Augment, which I must say is really good. It gives you the treasure map item, which will lead you to a buried chest with gold weapons in it. We were certified dazzled by the loot here. I went down with Nick clutched up for a back-to-back -back win. Bastion has a lot of small hallways which can let enemies get the drop on you, like this elite agent did to me in game number 6. Synced up for game 7. This time Bastion was a hot spot, and in squads that does mean competition. I charged headfirst into the battle, but didn't make it far. Game 8 could not have possibly gone any worse. Dropped into one of these corners in game 9. You stay out of the way in exchange for no loot. You and me last game. Once again, I claim the POI to find more loot. If you go into the cave system south of the POI, you can enter a slipstream that zips you around the whole ice biome really quickly. But the slipstream is also really loud. Later on, I tried to use the collab MacGuffin and got shot in the face. This man was trying to commit a homicide before game 10 even began. I landed at this isolated outpost just north of the POI. It's not really a good drop. I was shot out of the sky anyway. That was game 11. Did you miss it? To the north of Bastion is the shore area with another small building, which is where I went in game 12. Brutal Bastion is directly in line with any rotation out of Lonely Labs, so beware of players leaving the labs, which won't happen as no one goes there. This player caught me off guard while I was updating my notes, but I dealt with him. Using the licensing smash, I managed to ruin this dude's day, but with the next, I was not so successful. Game 13 featured much more competition than I had anticipated. Squad's Bastion can be brutal. One advantage to Bastion's design is that you can sneak up on players when they're low from another fight. However, when you're out in the open, there's a lot of sight lines, so watch out for people like this fella, camping on the roof. The resident American squad member is dressed for the occasion on game 15. We found this super rare rift event with three loot llamas. What happened next? We'll never know as my game crashed. Game 16 was bot central. I have no idea why there were so many here. Anyway, once again, I claimed the POI and used that to find the buried chests for good loot. So stacked up on great loot, taking down this fellow was a piece of cake. But that means nothing when you get third party. yay! Game 17 is a pretty good demonstration of how Bastion's hallways can get chaotic. I mean, my whole existence in this game barely lasted a minute. This is insane! Game 18 started with possibly the best chest I will ever open, but I wasted it all by messing up the hammer smash! Game 19, I got the plunder augment and left pretty quickly. As always, buried treasure loot is absolutely worth making the trek for. I had to go all the way to Slappy Shores, but I got a gold shotgun and a gold rifle. This man thought he could jump me with the hammer. He was wrong. After a particularly lucky shot against this enemy, I was left on just one health. 
I went in for the hammer smash and messed it up. In game 20, I used the Falcon Scout item to mark this player's location so I could rush in and one pump him. I have to imagine this guy wasn't very happy with me here. Still got shot in the face though. Game 21 follows the same formula as most Bastion drops. Secured the POI and used the claim to locate buried chests. Hit this fellow with a drone strike and when the storm overtook me, I had to fight my way out. Then I got shot in the back by a guy with no kills. Hooray! I don't know why this person left their box open, but gave me this kill. I found this whiplash suspended in time, which intrigued me as they were removed from Fortnite with Chapter 4. However, I got too excited and drove it into battle, which resulted in my untimely death. Brutal Bastion is a great POI. This guy's poor. Jack has died because he's blonde. I got this gold gun because I'm a greatness. Just the truth. This game was poor. Don't ask how I got stuck on this peak of this mountain. It was a glitch, not my fault, personally. This game ended quickly because Jackus isn't a greatness like me. I'm back for game 26 where I got a rare buried chest. How lucky. Doesn't matter though because we died anyway. Yeah. I slammed my way into game 28 before getting the hammer bug. With such limited movement, I was bound to die. Dropping into game 29 with a tasty one, uh, two pump, I got a gold shotgun out of this unassuming chest, which I would go on to kill approximately zero people with. Game 30 begins with a demonstration of why you must be careful breaking floors in Bastion. Two bar kills later, I want to highlight this slurp truck that you can find stuck in the ice here. Use it for some easy health and shields. Bastion's confusing layout makes it really easy to jump players like this. You know the drill. Claim the POI, search for buried chests. Good loot or no loot, missing all your shots does still mean you're probably going to die. Starting off game 31 with a lovely double kill on some totally real players. If you have a key, this outpost south of the POI often has a key chest with good loot, like an RPG or an exotic, but this time it was guarded. Don't worry, I handled them and I claimed my loot. This fellow was trying to become one with nature, but this is a battle royale so I made short work of him. And then I myself was made short work of. Boo! Yeah, I feel you buddy. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't- Haha, <laughs> you should have seen me. If you're on a staircase and have high ground, always take advantage of that. That's Fortnite 101 really. I had heals here, I didn't have to die, why would I use the bow? I dropped into this northern outpost in game 34. It was contested and this was a close one but thankfully I had a hammer. I was interrupted in my destruction but using an impulse grenade in my hammer they were dealt with. I already had pretty insane loot by the mid game and this fella only upgraded my arsenal. And with an SMG for the collection it feels like I'm playing solid gold. I attempted the RPG hammer combo but missed my shot, but that's okay, I have a gold shotgun to finish the job. Now I have a decent position in the end game, and well, I don't know what this guy's plan was, but it didn't work. The storm was encroaching so I had to rotate up to the highest mountain in the game, which is just south of Bastion. I used my hammer to reach the zipline, which zipped me up to a second zipline, after which I just sprinted to the peak. This position made me a prime target so I had to move, hammering to below someone else's builds. This is a tricky one. I got out of that by hammering onto someone's tower and literally yeeting them into the horizon. Oh, and then I died to four damage. An anime supply drop happened to land right next to me in game 35, and so the destruction began. Dancing with danger as I did a little twirl with this cuddle bear, but I got a. I taught this joker why you shouldn't chop wave onto me. Oh no. Epic added more anime mythics. This game is about to get much less fun. Well, actually, this mythic is really solid. You can fly into the sky and fire this huge laser beam that demolishes all in its path. This game came down to a battle of the animes, and I lost. Last time on 100 drops. Jack has started off basic with a classic pickaxe kill and one pump to Spider-Man for a mythic pistol. This pistol made him near unstoppable. The battle for faulty gas station commenced with two men falling to Jack's immense power. His quest for power continued in faulty splits, which soon moved to the final circle with this epic showdown. But with a third party, what will happen next? Find out next time on 100 Drops. Skipping straight to the end game in game 37, this one was a duos match. Using some precise Kamehame shots and some good callouts and communication, this just became a 2 vs one And with one final Kamehameha blast, we won the game, finally breaking the 32 game losing streak. I was called in by the Llama Protection Squad. What's the problem here, man? Don't worry, little buddy. You're safe now. There are a few key ways you can fight in Bastion, which I'll demonstrate here with Game 38. Use doors like this to your advantage. Or you can take the high ground like this guy. Just don't let me kill you. You can see in this clip how handy the high ground is, if you ignore all the shots that I missed. Visualize sound effects are always incredibly useful in locating players when your volume is low or you're listening to music. This guy was being annoying, so I responded with reason by murdering him. I actually 
unironically hid in a bush in a chapter 4 endgame. Yeah, this game's ending was a really anticlimactic, uh... Game 39 started off lucky with the paid promotion drop nearby. I don't know how this man dodged it, but after a scuffed shotgun fight, I emerged victorious. Before immediately getting pounced on! The anime smash didn't quite get him, so I finished the job. They say third time's the charm, I guess it works the other way too. I couldn't get a Cow Jonesy win in Faulty. Maybe this time? Nope, I died immediately. <laughs> Just kidding, I survived. Well, not for long. Pistol whipping into game 41. I got caught in the crossfire of a gang war and didn't last long. I left my game for about 5 seconds in game 42, but that's all it took. Game 43 was volcanic, and I guess my eruption was less devastating. Dropping into the secluded outpost to the north in game 44. It was really peaceful here, until I was attacked. I handled them. This place can spawn a key chest with an RPG, which is always handy. Did you know? Pickaxing snow in this snowy iceberg biome creates a great big snowball that you can hide in. It rolls around and stuff, it's kinda cool. Boxed up in the final circle, and I don't even know what this guy's plan was. Get off me land, ya vermin! I, I, I don't know how this woman survived the anime blast, but now I'm dead. Claiming the POI in game 45 allowed me to easily track down this player. In the icy valleys, I encountered these hench bros who kindly offered me some loot, but in the storm and going up against two people, even the extra loot couldn't save me. Armed with a gold burst in game 46, my killing streak started early. It also ended early. Returning to the northern outpost in game 47, oh, some end of the bus AFK kills? Don't mind if I do! Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, yeah, okay, um, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Game 48 started with me scaring the life out of this man. Literally. Wabush. Yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know what the plan was for either. Game 49 is off to a solid start with this mountain man firing at me. Still, nothing beats a good old one pump. This kill was a little bit more sloppy, but I got him in the end. Oh, you have a bounty on me? Yeah, good luck finding me. I died, but I got to watch my murderer die too, so could be worse. I accidentally landed on a loot drone in game 50 and, uh... Yeah. The soccer skin got the shotgun first in game 51. This man had literally nothing to his name, but I guess game 52 was his game 100, so he just didn't want to die. I got him, but was killed immediately after. Worth it. Game 53 doesn't look like it's going to end well. Accurate! You really thought you could go against the pay promotion mythic sucker? Well, I guess it doesn't always work. Game 55 was certainly game 55. Yeah, I, I don't know what the play there was. I completely messed up the drop in game 56, so I guess we're going here. Zipping on up to Lonely Labs as I haven't shown this place yet. This POI sucks. Don't go here. After saving myself from an early grave, I was killed by the anime laser because this game is terrible now. My power was over 9000 in game 57. Looks like someone was skybasing here? Well, that distracted this fella for just long enough. Boop. I was certified dazzled by the loots at crack shots. You ever hear the tale of a man who fell for a loot trap? Me neither. It doesn't matter, I was one pumped anyway. In game 58, this demi wasn't paying attention, so I lasered her. Time to go and get the ki- Oh, I'm dead. Game 59. Game 60, I'm really pushing the bounds of what's considered brutal bastion. Bastion or not, I'm dead. Game 61, I jump scared this Joni and after quite the scuffle, eventually got the kill. Yeah, but that attracted this frosty fella who killed me. Grady committed vehicular manslaughter in game 62. Also, we're dead. Game 63's footage is corrupted, but it doesn't matter because I'm dead anyway. One kill down in game 64 and I'm already knocked. Luckily, I was saved and rode off into the sunset. One tense stare down later and we're in the final circle in a really bad spot. We've really tried even revived on the battlefield and got a kill, but with just me left, and no builds, and no health, yeah, it wasn't gonna last long. Starting off with a tasty double kill in game 65. Oh, and we're dead. I got nothing to say, this is embarrassing how bad I've been doing. Okay, okay, the footage broke, but we're back on track with another win, and that's all that counts, baby! Game 68 just wouldn't give us a break, it was pure chaos Everywhere we went, I fought hard, but with just a grey pistol and no health, yeah. I bought a ton of Jonesies before game 69. This brings the collection up to 10 blonde men. Nice. We were really jonesing for a win this time, and using the power of Castaway Jonesy, I got a couple of kills, but uh, yeah, no. Game 70 was over before it began. I am not the one who gets third partied. I am the third partier. Got lucky in game 71 with a supply drop right here in Bastion. Shortly after eviscerating this man and his family, I became the one who gets third partied. Look, look, I, I don't know how this man missed so many consecutive shots in game 72, but I got the cheeky pickaxe kill. I wasn't cheeky enough for this fella. Hopping into Team Rumble in game 73, 
It's a solid enough Team LTM. Oh, you know I still drop Bastion. The drill remains the same. Storm moves fast in Team Rumble, but thankfully there's infinite life, so... Oh, you thought that would work? Nice try. Yeah, I definitely made an enemy out of a uh, Benny Pro in this game. No, really, the dude must hate me. I, I mean, this is bordering on harassment. We lost, by the way. That's all right, we can just go in again. The grind never stops, baby. Same drill, brutal drop, Storm comes in, suicide. Uh, oh god, I, I'm... I'm so sorry for making you watch this. This is a painful moment. Jesus, oh, thank God it's over. <laughs> I got the product placements. Now, who's going to stop me? Oh, you thought you could get that supply drop, buddy? Think again. Oh, you know that kill felt good, even if I died right after. Surprise, buddy. Yeah, I was on fire this game, and even if I was dead in the end, we still won. Yeah, I I'm counting that. I don't care. Call my lawyer. Game 75 was too hot to handle. Game 76 is played in solid gold. I'm sure this will go well. Seems like Epic forgot to put more than two guns in the loot pool, and this man had a third. Let's see how Kind Wall and Yuroho Jalilga do. Yeah, that, that checks out. Surprise! I got surprised myself, but don't worry, I handled it. From the safety of this box, I used my crow to mark this player. Information I used for a swift murder. I'm going to assume this drift is not logged on since season 5. Uh oh, this one was just awful. Just put me out of my misery already. Uh, oh, thanks. How are my 90s? Um, uh, 6 out of 10. Spray and pray won't save you every time, bud. I accidentally ascended into the heavens in game 78, and when thy return to give the good word, Doomsday arrived. The rest of the games were played in the most wanted event. This was a really fun heist event, and even if I did die in game 79, I still hope that it comes back. Bastion became a vault location in this event, so there were henchmen all around, and traffic in general was just a lot higher. You can see that after I kill this cowgirl, my heat level goes up, giving me benefits like increased speed, but also making me more wanted and marking my location at times. And due to that, I was shot in the back by Detective Fishy here. I lagged in game 81. Uh, okay, it's, it's not my fault that I died. Sorry, doggo, but I'm a cat burglar. The heat was on in game 82, and I had to escape the only way I could. Death. This fellow tried to jump me in game 83, but unluckily for him, I'm a hardened criminal. I tried to take on the boss with a hammer, so you can imagine how that one ended. I AFK'd the bus in game 84, this might take a while. I did eventually make it to the POI where I was shot in the back! I decided to lay low in game 85. I found a vault already looted with a new exotic shotgun left behind, so I took it and made my leave. Of course I wouldn't even get to use it before I was shot in the face. Oh, I just know this dude was mad. Managed to take down the boss in game 86, took her exotics and opened the vault. This place has an insane amount of loot. I do recommend trying for it if you don't get obliterated in the first 5 seconds of the match. Hey, I even got an extra exotic while claiming the POI. The shotgun one-shots walls, it's so OP. Using my new exotic friends, I managed to flush this rodent out of a bush and kill them, but was shortly thereafter killed myself. The recording broke again for game 87, but here's the umbrella as proof of my victory. Let's team up and take on the heist together in game 88. Our crime streak was short, but sweet. Till the next game, my partner in crime. All I have from game 89 is the death screen, so I'm gonna guess that I didn't live for very long. The crime bros are back for game 90. We took down the boss and looted the vault, but didn't make it through Anvil Square. Oof, Deadpool's really gotten worse since his last movie. I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. I looted the vault while people fought around me. This, this is fine. Over by the reboot van south of Bastion is this snowy hill igloo thing. It's a good spot to hide in and heal up in. Well, uh, until the superhero jumped me, but it's okay, I buried them in the snow. No, no, that's fine. I, I didn't want to live anyway. That's, that's fine. Game 92 started off a little sloppy, but it's okay. We're chilling. We're chill. Never mind. I got killed by Captain Coward. Impulsing into game 93, I vanquished the superhero before being vanquished myself by the tier 100 skin. Game 95 came down to if I got a good gun out of this chest. I did not. Completely messed up the drop in game 95, so here's this ice pond, I guess. Check out the sunset. Almost makes you forget about the pain. Oh, there it is. Using some slick manoeuvring, I was able to take down a recon specialist, but this Midas got the best of me. In game 96, I missed my shot, tried to drink a shield pot, and then got defaulted on. In game 97, I would like to introduce you to the first and only person to ever successfully use the bush bomb item in Fortnite. I came 98th place in game 98. Game 99 started off strong with a llama on this northern segment. Bashing that pinata made a lot of noise, so I drew some attention, and in the end, I didn't live. And here we are, game 100. What would this game bring? Instant annihilation? Cool! And there we have it. There is 100 drops into Brutal Bastion. Would I recommend dropping this POI? <laughs> no! 
This POI was a nightmare. It is not a good location in team playlists and it's barely a good location in solos. But with this new heist event, it can be quite fun to just loot up, grab the vault, kill the boss, get the new exotics. But apart from that, there's not many redeeming factors. Still, sometimes it's empty, and towards the start of this season at least it seemed to be more empty than towards the end of the drops, so maybe after this heist event goes away and season 2 rolls around, this will once again be a really viable spot. There's a lot of loot here, but this location is really hard to loot, so I don't know if I'd fully recommend it. I would personally recommend somewhere more like Faulty Splits or Slappy Shores. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you'd like to support me, please consider using code JACKERS in the Fortnite item shop or Epic Games store. Thanks for watching, stay creative, and I will see all of you in the next video.